Alright lads, Japan. Oppenheimer, directed by Christopher Nolan and starring Killian Murphy. What's this have to do with Japan? Absolutely nothing. Now, instead, our topic of today's video is actually about two Japanese things. Tsunamis and hentai. And that's cooler than whiskey, you wee gook. No, in reality, it's Nintendo and manga. Although, to be fair, these aren't far off my previous points. Look at you, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 for the Nintendo Switch and Pikmin 2 for the Nintendo GameCube. He's mad, he's mad, and he's never been to Devon. Mad lad of seven. I've loved comics for absolutely years. They're probably my favourite form of entertainment. They can have better stories than games, have the ability to be more visual and imaginative than books, and are easier on the eyes than movies and TV. But I'm not talking about your Marvel or DC. No, simple yet beloved comics like Calvin Hobbes, Asterix, and The Far Side, despite their simple artwork, they manage to use clever and surreal humour and jab fun at history, depict lifelike experiences in a nuanced manner, and are essential to the prototype of what would it essentially be the modern meme. So when my favourite game company, uh, game developers, had some comics based on their IPs, I knew I had to get one. Said they weren't your regular comic. They were manga. So what are the kind of foot fungus your grandma gets? Well, you're not far off. The world of manga is polluted with weirdos and things your mother wouldn't want you reading. This is, of course, a stereotype. Which type? Manga is just as capable as Western comics at making good comedy and wholesome adventures. It's just brought down by a fan base, exposed to nuclear radiation as children, and a few outliers that prefer the good old uh, clothing days of Adam and Eve. Is there an Apple manga? Yes. This partially put me off it. There was also the factory backwards, like the Quran. Also, like the Quran? Uh, no, the similarities of the Quran and manga in there. Also, this isn't a Quran, it's a Bible. But it's not a Bible, it's actually um, a copy of one to switch. Yep, Satan stuck his way in here somehow. Anywho, let's start on the Nintendo manga. I did read, and I must say, love quite a bit, Zelda manga. They're probably the most iconic of the ones that I'll mention. The main series is made by Hikira Emikawa, which is a pen name for Esnagano and E. Honda. The mangas I've read are Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Link to the Past, Four Swords, and the absolutely fantastic Twilight Princess Eleven Parter. They've also done Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons, Minish Cat, Phantom Hourglass, and the Scoured Sword prequel for Hyrule Historia. These mangas uh, enrich the stories of the games they are based on. I say based as the manga will alter certain events, and they aren't really considered canon. Suckers! Ocarina of Time is an example where they are able to flesh out certain characters and areas in a richer manner. Four Swords is also able to create a humorous take on some of the events of the game, and adding extra dimensions to the characters, especially the Four Links and Sir Shadow Link. Twilight Princess is my personal favourite. With its 11 parts, it's able to develop the established world and characters in a manner that connects you to it, whilst the game can be considered an edgy clone of Ocarina of Time, the manga charts a heroic journey, perfectly capturing the ups and downs along the way with rich artwork. Majora's Masks is a bit of a disappointment however, it is shorter than others, meaning it can't tell and build Termina's Termina story the same way the game did. The Icana region is also pretty much missed out, and all this may be due to the fact that Majora's Mask time travel based storytelling can only really work in a game. But I did have a great bonus story though, which gives you the backstory of Majora. Link to the Past is just bland. The story is scarce, already considering that it's an early 90s game, which doesn't have any story in the first place. But the manga doesn't do a good job at making its few events interesting, and what it does add doesn't mesh well with what the game sets on the base. I'm looking at you, Gante. But, in all, this manga series is great. Now, moving on from Zelda to Metroid. Funnily enough, the Metroid manga is canon. Look it up on Wikipedia or something. 
Sadly enough, it's very hard to access because Nintendo haven't really reprinted it in several years and it's not even got an English translation. Meaning you're gonna have to try and use a Reddit link I've put in the description because literally just look up Metroid Manga and the first thing that comes up is a Reddit link fan translation, so thank you for that. The manga was released to coincide with the release of 2005's Metroid Zero Mission for the GBA, almost said fusion there. The manga serves as a prequel to the original Metroid, making them the first in the series chronologically. They explore much of Samus' backstory, from Ridley's murder of her parents to her chosen upbringing, and the end is at the start of the first game. It is a fan translation, so wording can be a bit clunky, and the structure is a bit odd, but it does characterise Samus much better than other M, and has a few well-earned dark moments. The other Nintendo manga though were a little bit less serious. But when a child becomes an orphan, it's not really a serious matter, is it? Pokemon. Pokemon manga is inevitable. There is already an anime, so it's well suited to this kind of story format. The manga go by the name of Pokemon Adventures. There are several volumes that follow the setting and characters of specific generations. It ran from Gen 1 to Gen 8, with a Gen 9 volume likely inevitable. I, Morgan Freeman, approved of this manga. Whoa, that was random. You know what else is random? Mario Manga. Super Mario Manga Mania is a recent-ish release. It creates stories based on the stories of games like Super Paper Mario or Super Mario Sunshine. And I'm pretty sure one of them does actually have a warning for parents that it deals with death. Mario, it's bad for your health. They have a unique art style that's slightly cutesy. There's also the Splatoon manga, following the adventures of the Inklings in their turf war, and there's another Splatoon manga series called Squid Kids Comedy Club. I haven't read any of these, nor have I actually played any Splatoon games. Darn, I've just upset people who like listening to you and juggling on Spotify. There's also Animal Crossing manga. This was released with Animal Crossing New Horizons. And that's all I have to say about it, really. It does look pretty cute, though. It's own manga. Kirby, like Pokemon, has an anime. I've received news that that there Kirby isn't friends and I'm a clubber in there. But Tiger, you can't go to France. And why in time nation not? I'm a clubber that there quasi eating mother. Yeah, the manga follows the tales of Kirby. Epic. We're reaching the end, for I've covered the history of every major Nintendo manga. That's all I have for now, so bog off.